All right, everybody. Thank you so much today for joining us. Welcome to the next edition of the Road to the 2016 Candy Awards webinar series. And today's session is all about embracing your talent acquisition technology. Uh, again, these, each of these webinars that we're doing are featuring a previous Candidate Experience Awards winner. And in this case, my special guest today, who I'm going to turn over in just a couple of minutes, the presentation to is Tony Leoy, uh, who is the Manager of Temporary Labor and Talent Acquisition Operations at BAA, BASF Corporation. So we'll get to him in just a couple of minutes. Before we get started officially with the program, I just want to talk about Talent Board for a couple of minutes. Talent Board is a nonprofit research organization that's focused on the elevation and promotion of a quality candidate experience from pre application to onboarding and, and for all of those job seekers and candidates out there uh, in the world that are looking for a job. So that's what we focus on. That's our research, all about improving and shining a light on what's working in recruiting and what's not. This is the landscape last year of our global program. We're actually in three regions now. We launched in 2011 in North America, and now we're in EMEA as well as APAC. And you can see by the, the growing numbers this year, after this year's results, uh, North America is now closed. We'll be officially announcing those Candidate Experience Awards winners solely based on the candidate ratings of their experience at those, those organizations. That'll be next week, publicly announced. And then we're still actually in progress in EMEA and APAC as well, and those regions uh, will be closing later in November. And we had an amazing year this year. Nearly 200, excuse me, 400 companies globally and two, over 210,000 candidate responses globally for our research. These were the winners from last year in North America. Just wanted to share those with you all very briefly. These, again, these are all companies that were rated the highest by their own candidates, most of whom did not get the job. In fact, 80 plus percent of them um, that have been surveyed are those that do not get the job. That's what, exactly what we're trying to measure was what the rest of the world experiences um, in candidate experience beyond, besides getting hired and having a halo effect associated with that. Lastly, I want to thank all of our sponsors uh, because this program is solely underwritten by our sponsors and their generous support. I wanted to share those brands with you on this slide as well and thank them again for supporting our program. Without further ado, I'm going to turn things over now to Tony Leoy. And you can read a little bit more about Tony there on the screen. And I'm very happy to have him. And again, they've been a, a multi-year past Candidate Experience Award winner as well. And so, Tony, welcome. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate being here. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. We appreciate you taking the time to learn a little bit more about BASF's journey. Uh, with regards to the candidate experience and the utilization uh, of uh, talent acquisition technology. Uh, before we get into that, I uh, want to display uh, something to you here on the screen. We first have a picture of two BASF employees from our performance materials business uh, taking Innova, uh, which is the first all plastic shopping cart for a spin in the supermarket. Now, this new cart which is manufactured by Bemis, requires less maintenance and is much easier to recycle. The smooth rolling cart also ensures real great experience for the shoppers in these supermarkets. I thought this was appropriate to be able to display today since our topic is about embracing technology. Uh, and this is, is an example of one of the various technological advances that we have at BASF and how we're really creating chemistry uh, for a sustainable future. Kevin, next slide. Now, before we really dive into it, I want to take a look at what we're going to cover today with our agenda. First, I'll provide an overview of BASF, who we are and what we do. Then we'll get into the topic itself, talking about technology and why those in recruiting need to do their best to embrace and leverage those technologies. When Kevin approached me about doing a webinar, I struggled a little bit about coming up with a topic that I felt strongly about. Then I thought about what might be useful to our audience, uh, which is how BSF has tried to balance the use of technology in a high touch process such as recruiting. We'll then move into the balancing act on how BSF leverages technology to create a positive candidate experience. And we'll talk about specific examples such as our career site, our application process, and 
some timely communications that we utilize. And then finally, we'll talk about the results. So at the end of the day, how is this translating into results that we can see, we can feel, and that we can relay to our stakeholders? All right, so let's go ahead and dive in with the next slide. Now, many of you probably do not know about BASF, or you might have heard about BASF, but don't know exactly what we do. For over 150 years, we've been a leader in the chemical industry in solving some of the world's biggest challenges by creating various different new innovative technologies uh, in the field. We have a long distinguished history and the resources needed to take on these different challenges that are presented. And those resources are over 113,000 employees worldwide. And here in just North America, almost 18,000 employees. Next slide. Now, you may not realize this, but we're utilizing chemicals every day. The use of those chemicals are around us. Uh, when I recruited candidates directly, uh, when I was sitting in that seat working for BASF, I would tell candidates that look around your uh, car, look around your office, look around your home, wherever I may be talking to you from, 75 to 80% of the things around you have something from BASF in it, uh, whether it's the paint on your car, uh, the plastic, for your instrument panel, uh, the makeup that you might have on, uh, a number of different applications. Chemistry is an enabler to provide these solutions for current and future needs. And this is really kind of the cornerstone of our strategy. Now, a few things just to really bring up here and how chemistry is important for us for the future. The number, the number of people living on the earth is growing. Uh, we're projected to be at almost 10 billion people by 2050, uh, and 3 billion more people will be living in cities uh, today uh, or than there are today. More and more people are going to need access to affordable energy, housing, health care, and quality of food. We have to do this by consuming fewer resources, whether it's water, minerals, land, and farmland is shrinking by almost 30 million acres per year. Utilizing chemistry will provide the products and technologies that will enable us to consume less raw materials, be more efficient, and produce better products for all. So for example, a farmer today is feeding 30 times more people than at the time that we were founded back in 18, uh, 1863. In order to really advance the planet and to cope with the resources it, um, it provides to us, the way people live has to become much more sustainable and chemistry will help us do that. Next slide. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about the different segments here, but I just want to give you an idea of the products that BASF produces and that what they go into. So you have your first uh, column all the way to the left when we're talking about chemicals, raw materials for various different types of detergents, plastics, textile fibers, plants, coatings, crop protection, and medicines. Then we have our performance products, which lend stability, color, and better application properties for things such as pharmaceuticals, personal care, cosmetics as well as hygiene and household products. Our functional materials and solutions division bundles solutions together for specific sectors and customers, such as automotive, electrical, construction industries, sports and leisure, and so on. So roller blades, uh, you know, something from a blast from the past or, uh, or um, uh, snowboards, we make materials for that. Agricultural solutions. Uh, you know, we develop materials that go into chemical and bio, bio, biological crop protection, seed treatment, and water management, as well as solutions for nutrient supply and plant stress. And then finally, our oil and gas uh, division, which is more of a global division than just in North America. So this gives you a little bit of an idea of what BSF produces and what they may be going into. And maybe you'll be walking away thinking to yourself next time you're doing the laundry or next time you get into your vehicle that, you know, you're, you're sitting in or around BSF product. We go to the next slide. This just gives you an idea of our footprint worldwide. Uh, we have companies in more than 80 countries uh, and supply products to a large number of business partners in nearly every part of the world. Uh, I'm not gonna go into very specifics here, uh, but uh, I just wanna give you an idea of our footprint. So now if we advance to the next slide, let's dive into our topic today which is embracing technology. 
Now, if you can see the first picture here, she looks awfully happy, doesn't she? She's really embracing that technology. Um, but we know that technology is critical to almost every aspect of our lives today. It's not just business anymore. Uh, technology is connecting everyone in ways that are new, exciting, and in order to be attractive to those potential candidates, we need to adapt and utilize the tools that they're either using or be able to communicate to them uh, utilizing that technology in a fast, fast and efficient manner. Now, one of the keys is trying to properly combine that technology, especially when we're talking about candidates. Combine that technology and that feeling that is hands-on enough to satisfy those candidates. And those are the individuals that we're trying to attract within our applicant pipeline. And as you can see from the, the picture all the way to the right, you have a gentleman sitting there waiting along with a robot to enter the HR office. I thought this was a really appropriate picture uh, to really tell the story that technology and this hands-on, this type of high-touch high type of process, they need to work together. There's gotta be a good mix, mix of personalization and technology in order for us to attract the candidates in the way that they'd like to be brought into you uh, your company and to brand your company in the appropriate way. If we move on to the next slide. Another challenge is trying to manage all the different technologies that are actually out there. Now, any manager or director of talent acquisition is having a hard time trying to manage all of it. They're juggling all these different technologies that are out there. I've named a few up at the top on this slide. Uh, everything from applicant tracking systems, job distribution, background checks, sourcing, recruitment marketing, and there are so many more out there, it can be overwhelming. So another challenge in this is not only juggling all those together to really create a cohesive recruiting process that gives candidates what they want, which is really feeling positive and engaged in the process, but you also need to do it with a strong mix of how it's going to help achieve what our corporation needs. Now you may ask, how did we do that? How did we determine what we needed to do to enhance our process? How did we determine that we needed technology to do that? Well, one of the very first steps is getting feedback through various different types of surveys, whether it was candidate surveys or new hire surveys. Those new hire surveys, for example, we ask about the new hire's experience in recruiting or what their experience was in recruiting uh, and in a number of different areas. While most of those responses, as you can imagine, from a new hire, is pretty positive, there were a number of comments made around communication, uh, transparency, uh, that we took away and made us think about uh, what we need to do to enhance that experience with candidates. So we started asking those questions, uh, and the feedback that we received can be really summarized in, uh, in uh, a couple different ways. The need for transparency, the need for timely, uh, and appropriate communications, uh, and an efficient process. So if we move on to the next slide, this gives you an idea of our process. So I wanted to really provide this to you because even though it's a high level overview of our process, you can see that there are a number of areas where we really leverage technology, whether it's our applicant tracking system, Tleo, or any other third party system that we might be utilize, such as HireVue, our background check provider. And it was very important that this was one of the very first steps that we did. We outlined our process, and then we looked into the areas that technology uh, is currently engaged with, where it currently exists, and where we can fill those gaps if there are any. But then where, we can where can we leverage in the process technology in different areas? And don't underestimate the benefits of reviewing your process flow again. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Uh, it's very important for you to really uh, not only take the root cause that you may have determined already uh, as your pain points, but understand where you may be able to plug in uh, a technology component uh, versus where it really needs to be personalized. So that was our first step is outlining the process and determining what we could do. Now on the next slide, we're gonna talk about a few specific examples uh, that we took uh, advantage of. One of the biggest areas that we enhanced was our career site. And we did this a few years ago. 
Uh, this was a global initiative where we developed a site that we feel is very personalized and can be personalized and also transparent. So on our career page, there are a number of different areas that are, are um, you know, we can highlight. But one of the things that we were talking about when we want to personalize some of this content, make it feel personalized to that candidate, is what we did on our, what we call my career page, which allows a person to come in and select a number of different areas that they're interested in and what job level they're at. And what that does, as you can see in the first screenshot in the upper left, once you make that selection, it will then customize your view at that point to those areas of interest. And it will speak directly to your type of role that you're looking for. So if you do select, uh, I'm looking for an internship uh, in marketing and sales, then you will see content that's related to that that is customized to that audience. And we went through that, uh, that uh, exercise with our HR communications group to ensure uh, that we are customizing those messages appropriately to that type of audience. Uh, it's really important uh, that, uh, at least for us, and what we determined at BSF, is that we can leverage our technology, uh, this career page, to allow candidates to be able to customize the view. They want to be able to get to what they want to see. This allows them to do that. And it also allows them to save that. So every time they visit it moving forward, they see that customization. It's almost like your cookies being saved. We move on to the next slide. Another area where we're not only being more personalized, but also more transparent. Uh, and again, this is with chats with BSF employees. One of the ways BSF is successful is really by connecting with one another to solve these problems. And we call it the power of connected minds. Now, we allow candidates to also connect with various employees through emails or chats, not only in the US, but also globally. So this can be personalized to their needs based on their interest, but also allows that level of transparency by actually conversing with actual employees about what it's like to work at BASF. We also have other areas that I haven't highlighted here necessarily, such as uh, our hiring process, uh, the global job search that you can see here. So really it's a one-stop shop where uh, individuals that are interested in different jobs at BASF can go and, and drill down and see those opportunities. We also have a virtual innovation center, which allows anyone to access it to get a better understanding about what BSF does and a sampling of how products are used every day. Uh, so again, it helps bridge that gap when people don't know what BSF does. So this career site really helps us from a transparency standpoint, but also being much more personalized to that particular candidate's needs. Kevin, if we go to the next slide. Now let's talk about the application process. And one of the technological advances that we've made over the past couple of years is the use of HireVue. Uh, and this is really around efficiency of the process. We introduced HireVue uh, about two and a half years ago, and we're leveraging both the live interviews and the pre-recorded uh, interviews. Uh, and we're doing that to be more efficient. Uh, you know, some of the uh, responses that we would receive from candidates is that they never hear from us. Uh, and that uh, they're not sure where they are in the process. Uh, and even though, uh, you know, the higher view may be looked at as a little bit more impersonal, uh, at the same time, those candidates that are engaged in that process uh, and, and based on the, uh, the uh, videos that we have out there, introducing them to BASF, uh, preemptively telling them about the questions, allowing them time to prepare, and the ease of use uh, has increased that candidate engagement. But also one thing that we're doing with HireVue is uh, with regards to onboarding. An opportunity presented itself to utilize the HireVue technology to help with onboarding. So we're utilizing it to allow team members for a new hire to really record an introduction about themselves and actually be able to send that to the new hire prior to arrival. So they know about them, they know about their team member coming in uh, and, and they feel more comfortable on that first day, which we all know, which we all know can be nerve wracking. Then lastly, integrating these technologies is, is important as much as you can. We have this integrated into our applicant tracking system where it allows ease of use for our recruitment teams on the back end. We move on to the next slide. 
One area that I mentioned before is timely and transparent communication. Now, this may sound easy, but it's really the struggle between the personalization and that high touch approach versus just a thank you for applying type of letter. So one example that I provide to you here is what we call a hiring at a glance document, which we feel provides that transparency into the process. All applicants receive it, gives them an idea how long it will take to get feedback, uh, for resumes to be reviewed, and what exactly our process is. It also sets a level of expectations for the uh, candidate so that they have an idea that it's going to take a little bit of time. They shouldn't expect to back, hear back in the next day or two. Another area is with regards to our applicant tracking system itself is the candidate communication agent through Taleo. Now you can see this with the screenshot down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, and really we struggled here. This, is, this allows candidates to be able to access their job profile at a moment in time and see where they are in the process. So you can see there it says submission status, submission under review. It really gives them an idea uh, of uh, just in time where they're at. Uh, now we did struggle a little bit. Uh, we started off doing this internally uh, for internal hires only, uh, internal uh, employees only. But then we quickly moved it to the external marketplace. So in other words, everyone can see where they're at in their submission status. Uh, they can also see email messages that have been sent. If you have this technology, <coughs> if you have this technology at your disposal, you should be utilizing it. It allows candidates to get rid of that black hole mentality and it allows them to be able to log in and be able to view where they are, where they are in the process. There's more benefit to be gained here than fear of what I would say uh, legal action uh, by maybe your corporate law offices. So, Kevin, if you advance to the next slide. In the end, making these types of investments into technology to enhance our talent acquisition processes, uh, there has to be an end result. So what results have we seen? And they're, they've been nothing but positive uh, for the most part. So candidate man our hiring manager satisfaction, we're consistently exceeding expectations with our hiring managers, and that really applies to the higher view application. They really enjoy it. Uh, they really enjoy the ease of use of the uh, video interviewing and the fact that they can move the process forward quickly. Candidate satisfaction. We survey candidates throughout the process and we consistently score 95% or above in those reactions. But also our new higher satisfaction rates have increased, both in recruiting, which we experienced about 8% increase, as well as overall satisfaction, which, which we've experienced a 7% increase from where we were. <clears throat> Showing this to the business helps reinforce the importance of uh, the investment into these technologies and helps continue to drive that change and that mindset forward. And as you can see here, we're a proud winner of the Candidate Experience Awards three times uh, in a row, uh, hoping that this the next one will be the fourth. Uh, and that also speaks volumes uh, with regards to uh, candidates uh, and their satisfaction with the process. So hopefully this has been an informative session. I know I moved through a lot of things pretty quickly. Uh, if you have any questions at any point in time, please don't hesitate to contact me. Kevin will be showing my contact information shortly. Uh, and uh, hopefully you've, you've gotten something out of it. Thank you so much, Shani. That was fascinating. I, I mean, and, and very, very informative, especially fascinating on the side of what BASF does. I mean, I was familiar with some of that, but not that entire breadth, right? Um, but also what you've done in regards to your talent acquisition and the technology ecosystem, which is not for the faint of heart at the very, as you know, <laughs> at all. It's, it's very, very complex when you have multiple systems that are involved. I mean, from using your, from your ATS uh, being Taleo and then all the multiple systems that you shared on that slide, it's, um, it, you've done an amazing job and especially balancing the automated personalization and the high touch in, in your from your disposition codes to any outreach that you do through your systems that's it's in, that's very again complex and it can be take a lot of work but it's it's highly critical today in improving candidate experience so again thank you for that folks we're, we're not going to take questions live on the session but you can see tony's contact information please feel free to reach out to them we'd be happy to answer them for you
And if you have any questions about Talent Board and the Candidate Experience Awards, you can also contact myself in that contact information. So Tony, thank you again. Thank you, Kevin. It's been my pleasure. Yes, yeah, this is great. So everybody have a great rest of the day, okay? Thank you.